So folks, the sale is well underway for Criterion at Barnes & Noble. I am super excited. I've been talking to a lot of you folks out there uh, via YouTube uh, about the sale, about the items that I picked up so far, and I was talking about movies that like suggestions for me, but I thought I would come back and share a few suggestions with you all. So I'm going to talk about a few that I highly suggest everybody uh, pick up. If this is like you starting into the Criterion or if this is uh, maybe your first few trips or maybe you've not heard any of these. These are a few more accessible films. They're not really the uh, deep dives. But I thought I would share some of my favorites and, and why I like them so much. So I'm going to start out with uh, Blood Simple. Uh, Blood Simple is a great movie. It's the Coen Brothers' first movie. Um, it's it's so good. It was made in 1984, uh, ni uh, 95 minutes. It's spine number 834. Um, this is just one of those all around. If you like the Coen Brothers, you're you're definitely gonna like this. It's not as polished as their most recent movies, but. I mean, you got a 4K digital transfer um, approved by Barry Sonnenfeld, the uh, video, I mean, the cinematographer, and uh, both the Coen brothers. You got a 5.1 surround. Uh, so, I mean, this is just a great movie. Uh, it's a little more accessible, like I said. You can watch this with most anybody. You're not going to scare them out of the room with a bunch of subtitles or anything like that. It's fully. Uh, in English, color, you know, it's just a little bit older. Um, I really have always loved this movie since I saw it. Sofia Coppola's uh, The Virgin Suicides. This is one of those movies that really breaks your heart. It really, really does. So you really need to be in the right mood for this movie. It's 4K digital restoration. Uh, supervised by the cinematographer and Sofia Coppola at 5.1 on here um, new interviews with Coppola uh, Kirsten Dunst Josh Hartnett um, and the author um, I mean there's so many special features but this movie in general is just one of those that really 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 pull at your heartstrings now this is another Coen Brothers and this is Inside Lewin Davis. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my absolute favorite movies. I wouldn't say like uh, top whatever, but I, I really do enjoy this. I've watched it quite a few times. Brandon on uh, Cinema Machine and Cape Cast, uh, he and I watched this uh, together. And now he actually went out and bought the uh, vinyl soundtrack. This, this movie, if you're a musician, you really need to see this movie. It will really frustrate you because you've been through these experiences. Um, and it, But it's a heartbreaking story, and it's based on uh, a real musician. To the average moviegoer, they're going to think this movie is slow and, and boring. But if they are a musician, if they have a great love for real music um, I really think they'll like that now one of my favorites and I'm talking about absolute favorites I bought this last year I bought this I think it came out last year on Criterion but I bought it as soon as it came out I happened upon watching this movie on uh, YouTube for free before it was announced that it was coming out on Criterion like a little while before but I watched it on uh, YouTube for free. Not the greatest quality. So when it came out on Criterion, I had to buy it. It was Leave Her to Heaven. I love this movie. This is one of those... Not only... I mean, look at that artwork. I mean, that's just great artwork. But uh, John M. Stahl directed this. This is a 2K digital uh, restoration. Uh, new interview with Imogen, Imogen Sarah Smith with the trailer an essay novelist uh, by uh, novelist Megan Abbott this is uh, 110 minutes made in 1945 
it is in color um but man this movie i don't know i've watched this a couple times since purchasing it uh i watched it by myself a couple times i watched it with my mom and my grandmother when i visited and uh, they enjoyed it as well but leave her to heaven this is such a good movie i actually want to go and watch it right now love that movie um one that i think everybody should own if you don't own this just go ahead and get it on the sale and go ahead and start your collection of uh, guillermo del toro uh pan's labyrinth um i've talked about this quite a bit uh at length but i mean this movie I've owned every version of this movie since it's been on a Blu-ray. I saw this in theaters. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time, and I couldn't stop talking about it. Um, the Javier Navarrete um, score is beautiful. The filmmaking is beautiful. The, um, I mean, the set does everything about this is what you want movies to be. This movie. Yes, it's Spanish with English subtitles. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's two hours, pretty much, 119 uh, minutes. But, I mean, holy moly. This movie, it, it just, I don't know. It's gripping. It's uncomfortable. It's tense. It's everything you want a movie to be. So, um, so yeah. And also... When this came out, I jumped on it. I can't say that I'm the biggest... Well, I'll say this. I'm not the biggest fan of Jackie Chan's uh, American movies. Like the... Um, uh, what's the series he does with uh, the comedian? Um, the cop movie. I forget. Rush Hour. That's it. I'm not a fan of those. But man, you have to appreciate what this man does to his body uh, the choreography everything with his team i mean he was a legend he, he still is a legend he is an absolute legend so this is one and two police story one and two i'm sorry but there are scenes in here where he got third degree burns on his hands sliding down a pole he had to do it so many times he had he uh, said he could only do it one time but he got third degree burns on his hand kept going he got he hung onto the side of a bus with an umbrella at one point with no wires or anything i mean it's it's absolutely gripping and you can definitely tell how so many people are inspired by jackie chan and his team it's <laughs> it's amazing now this right here this might be my favorite uh, criterion movie period so far and I bought this, um, actually I watched this on the Criterion channel, and then when the sale came up, I bought this on Criterion. Nicholas Ray made this in a lonely place. And it's got Gloria Graham in it. And I mean, Humphrey Bogart, yes, but Gloria Graham, steals this movie in my opinion as good as humphrey bogart is gloria graham uh, was an absolute res revelation now she uh, was married to nicholas ray for some time and then whew, they had a falling out because she fell in love and married his 15 year old son or 13 i can't remember but she was kind of like shooed out of Hollywood for that. You know, she was blackballed, blacklisted. And, but man, this movie right here, please. If this is a film noir, if you like black and white film noir, I mean, this movie is 93 minutes long, so it, it goes down easy. It's 1950. Um, I haven't said all the other spine numbers, but this one's 810. I said one of the other ones, but... This movie, I can watch this a few times in a row without getting tired of it. 
if you want to have a really good and now it's not on criterion i know but if you want to have a really good double feature watch this and um casablanca back to back wow it's it's really good try out these movies let me know what you think down in the comments if you don't mind go ahead and hit subscribe for me that would be great let me know what you think i should buy let me know what you're going to buy during the sale and let me know if you uh, own any of these like in a lonely place or maybe pan's labyrinth or something else so i uh plan on putting up another haul video here in the next week um, I want to thank everybody that has made suggestions because it has altered my list. I just, I just want you to know my list is growing exponentially and I'm having to make some uh, pretty tough decisions on what I put in the budget and what I take out of the budget. But I hope everybody out there is having a great time at the sale and let's all just talk about movies as much as we can and celebrate the Criterion Collection at Barnes & Noble. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm Al. This is Criterion Corner. I'll see you on the next video.